Hello students. Today's practical class, we are going to see the demonstration of the determination of thermoelectric power for the given thermocouple. So, for which we are going to measure the thermo AMF using the ballistic galvanometer BG for the given thermocouple. So, by measuring the thermo AMF for different uh, temperature differences between the couple, we are going to find the thermoelectric power. So, the found thermo AMF for different temperatures can be you know uh, given in a graph from the graph the gradient can be found and then thermoelectric power can be calculated. So, to determine the thermoelectric EMF we need to calculate first the voltage sensitiveness of the BG. So, in the formula for voltage sensitiveness V refers the applied potential difference, P plus Q refers the sum of the resistances applied in the resistance box P and Q and P refers again the resistance applied in the P box D is the deflection in the ballistic galvanometer. Alright, this is the circuit diagram we are going to use to determine the voltage sensitiveness of the given BG. Okay, this is the tabulation in which we are going to record the uh, deflection for different combinations of P and Q to determine the ratio P by D. So, according to the circuit diagram the components are connected. This is the battery in which the voltage is set close to 1 volt and this is resistance box P and this is resistance box Q and this is resistance box R and this is BG which is set in 0 deflection. So, to record the first reading we are going to have the P value as 1 ohm remaining all 3 tens, hundreds and thousands are kept in 0 and uh, the value in Q is said to be 9999 ohms. This is the first combination. Now, you can see the reading the key is closed and commutator is connected and uh, you can see the reading. The key is uh, closed properly and you can see the reading now. It shows almost 8 on left side. Now, the commutator can be changed for other direction. Now we can see the deflection, it shows uh, almost 10 on right side. For every combination of P and Q, uh, we need to record the deflection on left and right side and similarly for every uh, deflection noted, we need to apply a particular value of resistance in the R resistance box to make this deflection half and then the value of R in the resistance box R should be noted. So, to make it half deflection we need to apply some value in the resistance box R. Now, I am applying some value in the resistance box R and now the deflection reduces to uh, almost 5. Now, this can be noted from the resistance box. Now, for uh, right side also for half deflection the value of R is recorded. Similarly, the combinations of P and Q are changed so that they could add up to 10,000. For all different combinations, first of all the left and right deflections are recorded using the commutator and once the left reading is recorded now a value of resistance R is applied in the resistance box R to make the deflection half. For example, it is in this case it is 8 to make it 4 90 ohm is applied on left side. Similarly, the right side deflection shows 8 
and uh, to make it half 130 ohm is applied in the resistance box R. Likewise, for different combinations of uh, P and Q, this tabulation and the observation can be completed to find the mean value of resistance of the galvanometer G can be recorded. That is from the value of R, we are going to take the mean on left and right and uh, for all the readings whatever we have obtained that we are going to take the average that is going to be the resistance of the galvanometer G. And similarly the ratio P by D also can be recorded in the same, ta same tabulation and then the mean value of P by D is shown. To find the EMF of the given thermocouple, the second part of this experiment is to wire up the thermocouple as shown in this diagram. The second part of this experiment can be wired up with the help of resistance box R, BG, commutated and the thermocouple. Uh, this is the thermocouple that is iron copper. And you can see this is the uh, hot junction and this is the cold junction and the temperature can be you know, noted. Like you know 3 degree in the cold junction and similarly it is uh, It is almost close to 93, not be visible exactly. The experiment is you know uh, ready for the observation. We have you know arranged the R value as 50 ohms. Then the temperature differences between the hard junction and cold junction can be recorded and for every uh, change in the temperature difference the reading in the deflection of BG can be noted for both left and right side using the commutator you can see a model reading for this combination of commutator we have the deflection on left side it shows like 8 for the temperature at the cold junction it is four. for the hard junction it is 96 so for this uh, temperature difference the reading on left side is noted now the commutator can be changed for the next side and the deflection on the right side seems to be uh, 7 close to Likewise, the readings for different temperature differences between the hard junction and cold junction, the deflection on left and right can be recorded using the commutator as shown in this second tabulation. So for differences are noted here and left and right deflections are recorded and then thermo EMF can be calculated using this formula where Vs is the voltage sensitiveness we have calculated from the first part D dash is the deflection in the second uh, part of this experiment from the tabulation the deflection value can be used from this tabulation for calculations okay, this is the set of calculations for Vs where we have used uh, the applied potential difference V that is close to 0.762 volts and P by D from the first tabulation P plus Q add up to 10,000 by substituting these values we could calculate Vs for different uh, combinations of P and Q and respective deflection D. So by calculating the mean value of Vs we could calculate the 
thermoelectric EM of E using the formula V s into deflection D dash divided by G into P plus Q as shown. These different values of EMF for the respective temperature difference can be you know calibrated I mean in a graph the reading can be noted in the graph and we could calculate the gradient of the graph from the gradient thermoelectric power P can be calculated. The results can be displayed as shown.